Hey guys, in this tutorial, uh, let's take a look and see how we can create this really cool effect on on the rock, which looks almost like some sort of a volcanic uh, veins of some sort. So I have this scene that I kind of wanted to make it look a little more uh, dangerous. So I think this is what it looks like um, without the uh, red and the stone. But I think it blends too much with the rest of the scenery. So I thought it would be cool to maybe add um, this effect, right? So uh, let's see what it would take to create uh, this cool little um, effect. So I'm going to actually turn this off and let's recreate it. So um, I exported out of Maya this as one FBX file and each one of these that you're seeing is a different material assigned to different parts of the model. So for example, uh, these are the columns and in Substance Painter, whatever material is assigned to that mesh, that's the layer that you have control over. So these are the columns again, this is the gate and th these are the stones on the back. So that's um, how it works and in this case let's grab our base which is this so i'm going to select my uh, layer and let's create this cool effect so to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new paint layer all right so as we added the uh, paint layer let's go ahead and make sure that our emission is selected and obviously if you don't have emission channel um, just go um, to your layer uh, simply press plus and make sure that you add the emissive layer from the emissive uh, setting from this list. So I can't choose it because I already have it uh, in here. So once you add that, you'll see there's the emissive channel that shows up right there. And you should have this button appear um, as you create a new uh, layer. All right, so now I'm just going to say set uh, emissive. I'm going to choose just this bright red here and click on the electric lines and just simply click on my um, stone and it will dynamically generate these lines for me. So that's how simple it is. And if I wanted to add some uh, more effects to it, what I could do is I could right click, go to add filter and choose um, if you hold on the old key and just click on the emissive, it will just have the emissive selected. And let's add a filter called um, height adjust. So when I click on the height adjust, you will see that I can actually control how much of this actually shows up in my stone. And I can even multiply it and make it a little more intense or less intense. And if you turn this off, you could see the difference. This is how it is by default. And this is with the little effect uh, on top of it. So you can really get it to look the way you want. So this is a cool little trick. I hope you uh, find it useful. Uh, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.